Tammy, yes? Thanks. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about uh, marine energy. Okay, I won't leave you in, in the lurch. In French, it's énergie marine. Okay, I'm starting now. Welcome to the kickoff event of the Ocean Energy Forum. This forum was a key element in the Commission's communication on blue energy. Our aim was to create a platform where industry could meet with each other, with stakeholders, with financiers, and with government representatives. So I'm pleased to see people from all these categories being present here today. And I do believe the timing is right. Developing this indigenous clean energy resource can increase our energy security, which seems particularly appealing in the light of recent events in Crimea and adds a sense of urgency to what we're doing here today. The sector has great potential, and it is clear that ocean energy could be an important element in Europe's future energy mix. Somebody has to manufacture these devices, install them, and operate them. Our expectations are, therefore, that, our o that ocean energy can help create several thousands of new jobs. The experience in another offshore emerging sector shows this, shows, sorry, this is not an unreasonable expectation. The European Wind Energy Association expects jobs to reach 191,000 by 2020 and 318,000 by 2030. This is the path we hope to see for ocean energy as well. The challenge is there. If we succeed, we can create interesting and sustainable jobs for today's young people. If we don't, then the caravan will move on elsewhere in the world and the opportunity will have been wasted. And this is my main message to you today. It's now or never. The research potential is there with Horizon 2020 and political support is there. The time has come for the sector to show they can deliver. This is not an endless supply of political capital or public money. We hope, sorry, there is not an endless supply of political capital and pu or public money. We hope the forum gives the, energy, the ocean energy sector the chance to develop a convincing strategy to move the sector towards full commercialization what you need to do is prioritize, work together, and deliver results. Having said that, we are aware of the challenges that the sector as a whole is facing. Capital co costs, for example, are currently very high. We are confident that they will go down, as they have indeed in the case of solar energy and wind. But technological progress does not come on about does not come about on its own. You need to join forces in order to maximize the impact of the limited financial resources that are currently available. So, we have a full agenda today, and I hope we will be able to leave here this evening with a very clear to-do list to work towards your second meeting, which will take place in Dublin on June the 11th. You will discuss the technological challenges and barriers in the panel before lunch. It will be important to discuss how we can draft a coherent research agenda, taking into account the variety of technologies being developed in the sector. This will first and foremost mean setting priorities. What should we focus on in the short term, in the medium term, in the long term? I would like to hear how you will increase cooperation to drive down costs and share your experiences. Ocean energy needs a detailed and clear research agenda, like the wind energy sector. I am aware that there are plans afoot for the creation of a technology and innovation platform for an ocean energy. Should this materialize? 
then obviously this would constitute the technolog technolog technology work stream of the future of the forum. Sorry. This afternoon you will begin with a session on finance. Here as well, discussions today should lead to a very concrete agenda. We need to focus on what is needed to attract private investors and on how public financing bodies can support the ocean energy sector better. Why are European investment bank instruments not used more fully? And what can be done to address this? Ultimately, any strat strategic roadmap would have to indicate how much investment is likely to be needed in the sector and which part of it would be publicly and which part privately funded. Lastly, we will discuss issues of consenting, environmental impact, licensing and planning. Here as well, some choices will have to be made. We will have to think about better ways of dealing with issues of environmental impact, both on the side of industry, for example, through better sharing of environmental data, as well as on the side of public authorities, for example, through the creation of sector-specific guidelines for implementation of relevant European legislation. These are just some of the key issues we hope to see coming out of today's meeting, and we will eagerly participate to help to achieve this. But, at the end of the day, of course, it's you who will take forward the sector through innovation and through trial and error. It's you who are and will be putting devices in the water. You have our support, and we will do what we can to help make ocean energy another European industrial success story. Thank you.